Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking the video. It means a lot that you guys keep clicking. If you guys keep clicking, I'll keep making. And it's official. We have a full cast for Survivor 43. We have all of their Instagrams, all of their socials, all but two have social media. It's big. It looks like a great cast to me from the short time that I've looked at these people. It seems that Inside Survivor released it a little bit early. Usually they, they wait until both seasons are done filming. They definitely released it early. I think it's mostly because of Larry's leaks. Larry being this guy who leaked an entire tribe named Bessie. Uh, and so I think that they're definitely going to leak more stuff now because Larry is kind of pressuring them. And if Larry leaks it first, then it kind of threatens inside survivors hold over the spoiler community or i should say leaker community so nonetheless the cast is released let's go through it all 18 members do me a solid like share subscribe do all that good stuff it's really easy it's really free and it really helps the channel out okay so the first tribe we have is the blue tribe it's very ominous we don't really know the name of it uh we do know one name of one tribe but we'll get to that later the first person that i want to talk about from this tribe is geo his name is geo spelled g-e-o i checked out his instagram and this guy is living the viva loca he's got you know cool drinks in his hands driving all types of cars he's got confidence charisma taking selfies you know doing the weird pose with with his, with his eyebrows raised up in the air he is very confident he is living the life right now he's on top of the world it's very very obvious i'm curious to see how he will do on the show next up we have jay jones whose job as an event curator does not do him justice he's a whole chef i mean his instagram is just piled up food after food after food i just scroll forever just to get a half blurry picture of him i mean it's it, his instagram is just full of steaks and pastas and mashed potatoes and all types of food it really m makes me hungry i'm not gonna lie when i saw it when i was doing you know some quick research for this video i i was getting kind of distracted uh so i i can appreciate that i don't know how his gameplay will be because i really don't know who he is all I, all I know is that he can cook some really really good food and curate an event like there's no tomorrow next up we got ryan and i'm surprised this guy's name isn't jim because he is always at the gym that seems like his whole personality um it seems like he is really really into it it gives him like, like that high which is you know good for him I, I could never do that personally just pumping you know weight back and forth and back and forth for an hour is just utterly boring and i'd rather work on a youtube video that i can make direct money off of but that's just me um this guy is really big in the gym which could help him in physical challenges i don't know how socially well he is and i think that might be his biggest thing he seems kind of socially unaware based off his posts like his selfies are pretty cringe but we'll, we'll see so we have uh cassidy clark and i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i, I there's nothing nothing there it, it's a really really pretty girl that's pretty much it with this one uh maybe i'm missing something i hope i'm missing something but i'm not gonna waste your time or mine talking about someone who i think is kind of a useless casting choice but we'll see the next one on this tribe is Carla Godoy, who I'm not going to lie. She is the person that I'm the most scared of on this cast of being a wokester. I mean, her name on Instagram is Yas Queer. Uh, she has the rainbow in her, her profile bio. She uh, she has the pronouns and everything. She's she's uh yeah, it's not it's not looking too good. She's definitely the person that I think we might be annoyed by. Similar to a Shan. I don't think that she's necessarily as assertive as Shan or as good of a player, um, but hopefully she just doesn't win. That's obviously the hope with these people who are, you know, interesting. And lastly, we have the old lady of our season here in Lindsay. She, she's not the oldest, but she definitely is our one of our old lady archetypes from this season. Definitely someone who the, the season is trying to push as the, the team mom person. I, it's always interesting that they always cast this archetype and it makes sense because a lot of their fan base is moms and or parents and they, those people will relate to people who are like them and who have kids just like them the issue is obviously these these mom archetypes just don't play the game that hard usually obviously the ex exceptions being like kathy and christy but these mom archetypes usually play the game pretty passively if not being complete goats and at best being average players who go out you know late merge and are very pretty predictable as far as their placement then we have the yellow tribe first being mike and mike is actually the person that we know the most about because his survivor audition video is actually online it's on youtube you can look up his name and then survivor audition video and it, it will come up it's from 2020 around 
quarantine time and it's really really cool uh this guy seems like a really really cool guy definitely a great casting choice kind of a country guy similar to, to like a brad and that he's kind of a goofy definitely more sporadic a different character from down south very very good casting and i'm happy that he's on this season next we have owen gray who to me seems like the only real game bot on the season it seems like he could definitely be a person that flames out day one just has no social bonds and is really socially awkward very similar to like a jake jacob Duran type of guy but then again maybe I'm way off. Next up, we have Sammy Layaya. I, th I think it's pronounced, and I like Sammy a lot. He's personally my favorite casting choice. He's also the youngest person on this cast because I have no idea what he's gonna be. He, he could be a nerd, kind of like he lo looks like in this picture. He could be a baller, kind of like how he he looks like in this picture. You know, you, you really never know. You know, he he could be li like that Zach type of character where he's super nerdy, or like the Xander where he's cool, calm, and collected. You know, it's you know be, being young. You know. You you can either be very, very developed early or it takes you a while to, to develop and it's interesting i'm curious to see which one sammy is going to be the next girl mariah is what me and my friends in school would call a hot cheeto girl which for those who may, may not know or who maybe you know missed it by a generation those type of girls that are overly aggressive very abrasive always trying to, to control things trying to have you know classically and traditionally male traits just overall not fun to, to hang out with or date or, or anything like that that's what mariah seems like to me uh maybe i'm way off maybe she's super chill but that's just not what i'm getting from mariah at all um on top of that i think personally that both janine and ellie look like goats so honestly the girls in this tribe look to me like very very weak and lastly we have the red tribe who we think is named vessi based off of some leaks that have come out um but then again it's always obviously unofficial uh, but what we do know is that the first member is cody Assenmatcher, which is a fantastic name the guy looks plucked right from survivor australia or like australian survivor seasons but then again obviously we know that he's on the show here so he probably doesn't have the accent although that'd be really cool if he did he reminds me of like a will from david vs goliath where he's just a guy you know in his 30s who's just rocking out he's in shape he's he's just it, it works he, he he's not necessarily the smartest guy he's not the dumbest guy and he does have a strategy he's probably not the best winner pick he's just a cool dude he's not something crazy polarizing he's just a chill chill dude the next person jesse lopez has zero social media so i cannot cover him in the slightest bit the next person i have is justine who seems like a boss like she, she has her life together and i think she would be a very aggressive player in the game someone who really really would really re go all out to win the million dollars and i think that's a really good trait to have she definitely knows who she is she's a salesperson, so you know she's, she's very convincing she has all of the traits she's in that great age range being in her 30s to be a winner everything's clicking for for her but i think the only issue is the fact that her tribe necessarily may not be the best catered to her but then again i think her social game will be so good that it really won't matter next we have ninyeka and i'm sure i'm butchering it but that's what i'm gonna go with uh she seems like she's either gonna be a really really light like a person like a very very nice old, old, older lady or like a marianne part two uh, again we really have no idea based off her archetype i will say speaking of you know like b because she is a poc it, there's been a lot less diversity on, on this cast as far as rate race goes maybe CBS, cbs has finally realized that forced diversity and you know forced equity isn't the way to go and it, it really doesn't help anyone except you know only hurting the people that are on the show and so i think maybe cbs has finally realized the flaw in casting forced diversity because this cast i don't think it follows the bipoc rule i could be wrong on that maybe it does but it's definitely closer than what what we got for 41 and 42 but who knows and lastly we have dwight moore who is pretty young 22 he's one of two people who are un under the age of 24 on this season which is not that many which i, I think is a good thing um dwight seems seems like a very calm person very tranquil which i think means that he's probably a very likable person because there's only a few ways to get on survivor you're either really really annoying really really mean really really fun to be around like like, like a fun character like, like rupert or you're just a really ni nice person who's really relatable and really rootable or you're also a really good player or you're famous and i feel like he doesn't really fit any of those except for, except for the fact that he may just be a really nice person who's really rootable so hopefully he's someone that I, I can root for and not someone that i dislike in the end and lastly and probably the most interesting casting choice of them all we have noelle and noelle does not have a leg 
One of her legs is missing, very similar to Chad in Vanuatu. I'm curious to see how that goes down nowadays. We'll, we'll you know, because, you know, nowadays people love to, you know, prop up a, 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 the victim. So will she get a, a boost in challenges and an advantage in challenges? Or will they do it old school, just like how they did Chad, where they did, didn't give, give him a, a, any advantage and just had him, you know, like the, the rest of the players? I personally think that the second one should be the case. Tell me what you think in the comments. Should she get the boost or not? Uh, again, none of this happens without you guys. Without you guys, I'm Mr. Weird Guy speaking to a weird microphone. If you're new, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. And if that's it, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.